to me it is the best general purpose charging handle on the market. That's gonna be the trend here because this is a general purpose AR. Merry Christmas, everybody. This video is probably coming out the day before Christmas Eve, so it'll be most likely the last video until post-Christmas. We're doing a recap video of things about this particular build AR. And I've talked about everything on here at some point in the past, probably more than once. However, we're you know six months or a year later, and I thought I'd give some follow-up because we are in the oh, I got some gift cards for Christmas, or I got some cash, or whatever it is, or I'm giving a gift. So we have the primary arms, 2X optic. I still think that if you are looking for a general purpose optic for an AR-15, and you don't need high magnification for something, you are not trying to do long range precision, or, you're not doing indoor CQB because anything else, I think this works great. And even indoors, like it is 25 feet to my front door from here. I can see the whole width of my front door. Vertically, it's a little tight, but I can see the whole width of the door. That's good. That's that's absolutely awesome for field of view. Anything further and it starts getting even better. I still think it's made really well. I have not had any problems. I have changed the battery once since I got it. Just as a routine, I change the batteries out every, you know, every so often on all of my stuff. I have banged this around. I have beat on it. I have not been gentle to it. I've had to touch up the finish in a few places to keep it looking good. No issues. The next item on the list is the Geisley charging handle. This is the Geisley Airborne. And it is basically the pint-sized version of their standard double-sided charging handle. It's got a little ridge for gas busting, two-sided, nicely checkered without being too sharp, Edges are rounded over a little bit. It doesn't grab you. To me, it is the best general purpose charging handle on the market. That's going to be the trend here because this is a general purpose AR. Works well suppressed, works well unsuppressed, works well pulling with one, hand, one finger, two fingers, one finger on the other side, you know, primary side, secondary side. It doesn't stick like some of the factory ones do. Now, obviously, on any of the premium charging handles, they shouldn't stick like that. That's a, a factor of them twisting or torquing. Uh, and the better aluminum that they use on most of the premium ones won't do that. I'm a big fan. They are on both of my main ARs. I haven't bought more of them because, well, I got them on a really good deal and have not seen them that cheap since. And honestly, I don't shoot my other uppers very often. I, I shoot this one and I shoot my little SBR. Next on the list, the Delaru Trigger. We've already done a recap video on that, but I thought I would reiterate, I still think it is the best general purpose upgrade for an AR. If you don't have a particular trigger you need, if you are not going, I need this particular Geisley or Timney or whatever, Go with the Luru. Go with the either straight or curved. I'm a big fan of the two stage. I think that it makes more sense than the single stage. I like having just a little movement. To me, that is much preferable on a general purpose rifle than a single stage where it's just pressure, 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 bang. The reason for that is if you're wearing gloves or your fingers are very cold, the sensation of movement is often easier than the sensation of pressure. So to me, that's, that's my motivation for two stage. If you're doing a pure competition rifle, don't worry about it. Get, you know, if you want a single stage, go single stage, do your thing. The upper itself is an M4E1, an Aero Precision M4E1. Talked about this one a couple times. 
I absolutely still think this upper receiver is, if not the best, non-fancy, crazy billet stuff. But even then, I, I really like these. But for a forged, reasonably priced upper, I absolutely think these are the best. Uh, some of the features they offer, the quality level, the finish level, I, I really, I can't say enough. I think Aero Precision knocked it out of the park. They didn't get too fancy. They didn't get not fancy enough. They just nailed it perfectly. The lowers are excellent as well. I don't obviously run one on this. This is my What Would Stoner Do build with an old Cab Arms Mark II, but I do use their, uh, their lowers. I really like them. I think that they are, that whole package is excellent. This is the Faxon pencil barrel. I still love it. It is not the world's most accurate barrel. However, it does exactly what the tin says. It doesn't get less accurate. It doesn't drift weirdly when it heats up. Yes, your group gets a little bigger as it gets very hot, but not objectionably, not horribly. And it stays a group. It doesn't become a string going off to the side. So for a gun that, I mean, this doesn't weigh anything. This is toy-like. Compared to my SVR, this is nothing. Honestly, this probably weighs less than six pounds as, as it sits. I wouldn't be surprised. So that is it. Merry Christmas. Take care. Have fun. Stay safe, everybody. Have a good time. Don't let the, the media get to you.